For many people, taking a holiday without their pet is unthinkable, and the figures back that up. Stats from Stenerline show that 2,836 dogs and cats were taken away in 2007, rising to 3,218 the following year, an increase of more than 13%. In fact, since the year 2000, 60,000 holidaymakers have taken a dog or cat on holiday with them. Well, I'm here in Holland with Jason, who's brought his pet dog Eddie on holiday with him. Now, Eddie's resting at the hotel, so whilst he's not here, tell me, would it not have been easier to leave him at home? It might have been a little bit easier, but the entire point of this holiday was that I was going with Eddie, and he's had a great time, I've had a great time, and I wouldn't have changed it for the world. So how easy is it to do? Well, there are a number of procedures that you and your pet will have to go through before heading abroad, so earlier I caught up with vet Sarah Pemberton to find out more. Initially, your pet needs to be microchipped. This is a routine procedure that I strongly recommend to any pet owner. After that, there's a rabies vaccination given, which is again a routine vaccination. We have very few side effects with, associated with that. Following that, we take a blood test to ensure that the vaccine has worked for obvious reasons, but also it is an absolute must for the passport. We can't create one without a positive result. Once that's been done, we can go ahead and create the paperwork necessary for the pet passport. One further thing to remember is that between 24 and 48 hours prior to re-entry into UK, the animal must be treated for ticks and tapeworms. This can be done by a local veterinarian in the country in which you're staying, but it's important to check that this vet is official, and you can do that by checking on the local government website. Sarah Pemberton there. Now there is one other thing that you must make sure that you do and that's to travel on an authorised route with an approved travel company. Eddie and Jason travelled here on Stenerline ferries from Harwich. We carry all sorts of pets um, but mostly dogs and cats, horses. We do carry the occasional ferret. Um, since the introduction of the, uh, of, of the pet passport scheme um, we've noticed a vast increase in, in, in the travelling of, of, of pets and that have a, a, a big increase and it's, it's increasing every year. So Jason, what would you say to people who might be considering taking their pets abroad with them this summer? I'd say they should do it. If you haven't got a pet passport, go and get one. And, you know, Europe just opens up to you. You can take your dog, your cat, absolutely anywhere you like, and you'll have a great time, and it's really easy, and just do it. Yeah.